Hi darlings, welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm actually post filming this, not pre filming this, um, because this vlog turned out to be a little bit higgledy piggledy, you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, but also, you'll have noticed that I'm uploading a vlog on a Sunday, which is a little bit unusual for my channel, usually, it's a fashion video. But as you might have guessed from Thursday's video, this next week coming up, as in starting tomorrow, is going to be a mad. Black Friday week, I'm going to be showing you so many edits of the best products to buy, uh, how to shop the sales, come shopping with me, all that kind of content. So I wanted to get this vlog up before then, because then after that it goes into Christmas madness. So a little sneaky Sunday vlog for you, which I really hope you enjoy, but it's going to be quite a long one. So grab a cup of tea and make yourself comfortable. But on the note of Black Friday, a bit of a pre-warning, it's all kicking off tomorrow. I've heard from very good sources that Black Friday week starts on Monday this year. So what I've done is created a Black Friday hub on my blog, which I'll leave linked down below. If you don't want to miss any of the sales, then bookmark that page, keep the hub open on one of your tabs because I will be linking all the discount codes, I'll be doing loads of edits like the best tech things, the best home things, the best fashion, beauty, and trust me, there are some amazing ones. If you haven't seen Thursday's video, it's basically my shopping hacks, so I'm giving you a little bit of my thoughts and feelings and tips on how to make the most of it, so check that out. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave that link down below. And as for this vlog, you'll be seeing me doing some filming for Be My Bride, going to Soho Farmhouse with Bare Minerals, doing some Christmas events with Mulberry and GHD, so it's a really fun one. So now we're gonna skip to the past, driving in my car, and let's get this vlog started. Good morning, darlings. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. It is Monday, um, the 5th of November, my birthday month, and I thought I would do a weekly vlog this week because I have got a lot of fun things going on this week. Uh, today is starting off as a just kind of getting everything in order day. I've got quite a lot of photos that I need to take for both normal Instagram and also I've got a couple of sponsored fashion Instagrams I need to take. So I'm heading to Chelsea now. I'm gonna nip into a couple of shops and grab myself a coffee. Then I'm meeting Victoria and we are gonna take some photos together. Uh, then I've got a really nice facial at Decleor and I'm also going to get a pedicure at London Grace So it's gonna be a really nice day also this week and I did mention this in my last vlog I am attempting to live the whole week without single-use plastic um, Which I think actually that part will be pretty manageable because I've been kind of practicing quite a lot lately I've been a lot more conscious of how much plastic I'm consuming so I feel like I've got into some really good habits so I'll be sharing what I do in that respect with you but also this week I'm gonna be trying to live a zero waste lifestyle which basically means you try not to throw anything away uh, I'm also going to Soho farmhouse this week with bare minerals which is gonna be amazing and then I might be going to Barcelona on Friday, but that's still TBC, so we shall see. But either way, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Uh, nearly in Chelsea now, so I'll see you shortly. Okay, I've just parked up. I'm gonna go into a couple of shops on Kings Road now um, and grab myself a coffee. So my first eco tip, super obvious, and I've mentioned it in lots of my past videos, but it is, of course, to get yourself a really cute reusable coffee cup. Um, a few scary facts. So half a trillion, which I think is 500 billion, disposable single-use coffee cups are made every single year, which is 70 cups for every single person on the planet, which is so, so scary. And they are not recyclable. Most of them are not recyclable at all because they have plastic inside them. So they basically just stay around on the planet for half a million years, which is really, really scary. Um, and yeah, I think it is so much more cute to have a reusable cup than using single-use plastic ones. Obviously the top of most coffee cups is single-use plastic that goes into the oceans, gets eaten by marine life, um, and yeah, not very nice at all. This is, I'll leave this one linked down below. I've got a couple from this company, it's called eCoffee, and the cups are made from bamboo, which is really sustainable. It grows really quickly, it's naturally sterile, it's biodegradable, um, and it doesn't 
affect the taste of your coffee at all. So big fan of these cups. Uh, so let's go and get a coffee, do a little bit of browsing around the shops and I'll catch up with you later. I remember when you put a spell on me It drove me flying crazy Couldn't see back then what's now in front of me The disc goes long gone, baby You got me good, yeah you got Hello again, it's actually a couple of days later now. I didn't pick up the camera yesterday, it was a little bit of a mad day. Um, but as you might be able to see from where we currently are, we're now at Soho Farmhouse with Bare Minerals. I'm with Soph again. We are here uh, for a couple of days, a wellness retreat it was mm -hmm. called, which is so nice. Um, and we're gonna be discovering their new campaign, which is all about the power of good, trying out lots of nice Bare Minerals products. Soph and I, as you guys know, are like number one Bare Minerals fans. <laughs> so we're so happy to be here. I'll give you a little tour of our cabin, and then we're gonna unbox the goodies on our bed. So I'll show you what's inside our little boxes. So our cabin is absolutely adorable. Horrible. What do you think, Soph? So you match perfectly your outfit with the background. It's so sweet. We've got little goodie boxes on the bed. We've got, oh my goodness, this is like a little kitchen area, a little bread. desk. We've got bread, most importantly, for those late night snacks. Beautiful little bathroom in here. I always love the products they put everywhere the cow shed, lovely smellies. I just think this lounge area is so, so sweet. Beautiful flowers, like a wildflower bouquet. And then, didn't have this last time when I stayed with Charlie, we've got an outdoor tub. Not gonna lie, I might run a bath now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Overlooking the lake, got another cabin over there. So, so cute. Soph's gonna give us an unboxing. Good Goodies. Good, free of That's a new Bare Minerals motto. Ooh. Add some products. What have we got? The new yeah. highlight. That's the brush for the um, original. The Love it. And then we've got blusher. blusher. What's that? Another blusher. Another blush. Cute. The original. My favourite. Love that. Another original. What's different about them? No. Mineral veil. Maybe that's more of a powder. Oh, that's the new highlight. highlighter. So lovely. Is that another brush? I think they're for the, um, is this the new lipstick? No, that's the original Gen Nude, I think. So cute. Soph and I have just come back from a little swim and I'm gonna do a face mask now, a bit of pre-cocktails and dinner pampering. Um, I'm gonna take my makeup off first. I wanted to show you my little reusable cotton pads that I've been using lately because I had a quite a lot of questions when I featured these on my Instagram stories. Um, I'll leave them linked down below, but I just got them from um, I just got them from Amazon and it means that I don't need to use disposable cotton wool pads which I use like two or three of every day previously so they're very good for being zero waste. So I'm going to take my makeup off with some micellar water and then I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Mask Duo Clay Mates. I'm a little bit shiny so I think I'm going to use the mattifying purifying side so this has got a side which is for giving you a lovely dewy glow, the pink side and then You've got a clay side, which is really good for any slightly oily skin. I'm holding on. It's a couple of hours later. Soph and I have got glammed up after our trip. And oh my god, it was amazing. We thought it was going to be a hot tub, but it was very much a cold tub. <laughs> um, we both had a lovely shower and we are now glammed up ready for dinner and we're in one of the barns at the farmhouse and it is just beautiful look at this so stunning they've got lights all around it just looks like pretty much my dream wedding venue Oh, 
back home again. I'm so sorry this vlog has been all over the place. I promise from now on it's going to be a lot more streamlined. And also I've been looking at my content calendar. I don't really have one but I've kind of been thinking about when my videos are going live. And you'll be seeing this video on a Sunday. Because next week, starting tomorrow, it's getting pretty crazy here on my channel for Black Friday content. Um, I've got so many kind of tips videos. You already will have seen a Black Friday shopping hacks video. Um, and I'm basically going to be doing all the hard work for you and putting together a list of the best sales, best discount codes. So I wanted this vlog to go live before all the Black Friday madness. So surprise vlog on a Sunday. Um, ooh, dingy! That boy is bonkers. Sorry about Charlie's pajamas on the bed there. Um, so yeah, back home from Bare Minerals and just had the best time. It was such a lovely trip. Amazing group of people. You guys know I am like number one Bare Minerals fan. I use their products every single day. Their skincare, their makeup. I'm just, yeah, biggest cheerleader for Bare Minerals. And they put on the most gorgeous event for us at Soho Farmhouse. I got to speak to Rosie Huntingdon Whiteley, who is their main ambassador, Hayley Baldwin, who is their clean beauty ambassador, and yes, she did bring her husband with her. I did have a little chat with Justin Bieber, which was a bit of a highlight, not gonna lie, a little bit surreal. But yeah, it was a really, really fun trip, and so nice to travel in Teslas as well. So they organized Tesla vehicles for us to get to and from um, Soho Farmhouse, and I didn't realize they're totally electric. You don't need any petrol or anything, and I basically really want a Tesla now to go with my whole eco routine. Speaking of which, I realise I haven't really given much attention to me being plastic free this week, but I've done pretty well. I did actually have a blip yesterday morning. The um, Cycle Spin Studio has launched in Clapham. I went to the launch event, which was amazing. I'm so happy to have one near my house. And they had smoothies for us afterwards, which again was very generous of them. But they were in plastic cups and plastic straws and I felt so bad. I should definitely, and I am going to be putting a metal straw in my handbag so I don't have that situation again because I don't want go without my smoothie but I don't want to be using plastic straws and I might even just pop them a little message on Instagram and be like hey love your smoothies why not use paper straws so yeah I hope people don't mind if I say things like that to them but I think as soon as people realize they're like oh my god why would we use plastic when we can use paper okay so speaking of which um kind of I'm doing a giveaway to launch my new newsletter. So I'm launching like an email blast kicking off uh, tomorrow for Black Friday. And it's gonna be, it's based on my blog. If you don't know, I also have a fashion blog, fashionmumbler.com. So I'm gonna be doing a newsletter for content on that. My sales edits, when I see amazing things going in the sale, I'll be doing blasts for that. Um, and it's basically gonna be a roundup of style tips, YouTube content, blog content, what I'm up to, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Going out normally once every two weeks but next week for black friday cyber week it's going to be going out every day at midday with a round of the best sales so i'm putting together a lovely selection of beauty products and lifestyle products including a beautiful reusable coffee cup from e-coffee i'm you guys know i'm obsessed with that brand and um, their cups are amazing bamboo totally biodegradable don't taste funny and they look beautiful so i'm going to pop one of those in the giveaway box all you have to do is sign up to my newsletter and let me know down below in the comments that you've done so and someone will win an amazing hamper of beauty products and reusable coffee cup which I will show you now. So this is the bundle of prizes for the giveaway. You've got your beautiful e-coffee bamboo cup in this beautiful pink and green design. I've also popped in a molten brown muddled plum Christmas tree. Um, it's kind of like a bath and shower gel. Seriously lovely. Smells amazing. This is one of the new dramatically different lipsticks from Clinique in a very festive plum shade. Soothing comfort nice night face balm from Decléor. This honestly smells so good. And then you've also got a matching comfort cream and mask two in one. I've popped in a few candy canes and then also this amazing hair kit from Purology. You guys know I'm a number one Purology hair fan. You've got my absolute favorite hairspray and then a shampoo and conditioner for strengthening and curing the hair. So that's the giveaway for the newsletter. Sorry, I just had to come downstairs to let the postman in. Um, okay, so they, those are my updates and Christmas gift guides will be coming to my YouTube channel the week after all the Black Friday content but I already have a huge Christmas gift guide area on my blog so if you already want to pick up some Christmas gifts and you'd like to see my edit instead of spending hours and hours looking through the shops then I'll leave a link to that blog page down below so yes it is a busy time of year for me and we've just confirmed a trip to Dubai next week as well so 
all go here. As for it being all go, today I am doing some really fun things. I've got a lunch and the Regent Street light switch on event with Mulberry this afternoon, which I'm so excited for. And then this evening I'm going to Somerset House to do some ice skating with GHD. I've literally done nothing with my hair today. I just didn't have time, so hopefully GHD are gonna do some magic with it. Uh, so I thought I would take you along to those. I'm gonna have to take my laptop with me and sneak off after the lunch to do some work because I have so much I need to get ready for you. Let me actually give you a preview of how I like plan my blog posts because I get quite a lot of questions on the logistics of being a blogger and what goes on behind the scenes. And obviously I'm not very good at things like Photoshop, so I do have a lovely girl, Georgia, helping me with collages and things like that. But when it comes to designing my blog, I basically have to do um, pencil drawings and send these to my blog editor. So if you go on my blog and you see the Black Friday page, you might think, oh, I wonder how she designed it. Literally, like this. I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but I just draw it out and sometimes I colour it in with Crayola pencils. I draw it out on a bit of paper and then I send this to my blog web designer and then he turns it into reality. So I've been working on that this morning. Uh, okay, I've just seen that my taxi from Mulberry is getting here in five minutes. I need to pack a bag with chargers, cameras, etc. So I'll catch up with you at the Mulberry store. See you in a bit. Just about to head into Peterson Nurseries for lunch with Mulberry. I've got my beautiful new Hampstead bag, which is debuting for today's outfit. We've also just been to the Regent Street store where they've got this amazing light display that you've just seen. Um, and they also have a vending machine there so you can win some snazzy Mulberry prizes. But we're heading in for lunch now. See excited for the weekend. I feel like this week has been manic um, and I'm just so excited for a couple of days email free and also to get ready for Mad Black Friday week next week. I've actually just filmed a video. I don't normally have this much makeup on on a Saturday morning because I'm trying to pre-plan as much content as possible for next week. If I didn't mention it already, I am doing a video every single day next week. It's going to be the Fashion Mumbler shopping edit in celebration of Black Friday, Cyber Week. And I've just filmed my Black Friday wish list, which is going to be going live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Because the sales start first thing in the morning, I will be, of course, updating my blog instantly the second the sales go live. Uh, so keep that page linked down below bookmarked if you don't want to miss any bargains. But I'm also going to be uploading my videos at 10 a.m. so that again you have more time to shop and not rush into any impulse purchases at the end of the day when the sales are about to finish. So stay tuned for that. Um, subscribe, turn your notifications on. My room is now a bit of a bomb site, as it always is after filming, and I don't even know why. I wasn't even talking about any physical products in my wish list video, but it's always a bomb site. Um, but I'm wearing a really cute outfit, so I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. I'm just going to meet Charlie at the farmer's market in a second. Um, 
and I'm gonna be very overdressed for it. Please excuse the mess, literally post-filming mess is the bane of my life. Uh, so this is a gorgeous little jumper from Reese. You guys know I'm obsessed with Reese. They have the best classic pieces for your wardrobe and this jumper, I love it. It's got really lovely shaped sleeves, a really long, I always wanna call this a hem. Is it still a hem on a sleeve? Not entirely sure, but I love it. It's a little bit ballooned um, and it's got a really nice kind of casually draped neckline. It's, even if you adjust it, it still has these folds in it, but I really like that design detail. This skirt doesn't look as good without heels on, but I thought what an amazing dupe for my Reese fluted skirt in a different colour. This is obviously like nothing compared to the quality of the Reese one. This was uh, from Zara, I think it's around £30. I saw a fellow blogger, Hannah Krosky, from A Fashion Fix. She was wearing this to the Mulberry event yesterday and I just fell in love with it and I went to Zara straight afterwards to pick it up and I'm so glad they had it in my size. Shape-wise, it's very simple, it's very soft, it's gonna be nice and warm with thermal tights, over knee boots. So thank you very much, Hannah, for the inspo. So yeah, that's my outfit. Oh, actually, these earrings are really gorgeous. I need to show you these. These are from Pandora. I'll leave them linked down below. I think these are my favorite Pandora jewelry items ever. I have them in silver and rose gold. They are basically a very simple hoop earring with, can you see, a pearl in there, which I think is just absolutely beautiful and so my style. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go meet Charlie at the farmer's market, then he's gonna be watching the rugby, so I am going to be doing some more Black Friday prep on my blog. I'm gonna start listing all the retailers, any discount codes that I know of already, because as I mentioned, some of them have given me a sneaky early glimpse into what the discounts will be, so I'm ready to click go as soon as the sales start. Oh, and also this morning, quite exciting, I just launched my new presets, my golden bundle, which turns your photos into beautiful, glowing masterpieces. I launched that bundle this morning. The first 100 people that download it are going to save £20 because it's currently on offer at £30, and then when there have been 100 downloads, it'll go up to £50 for the three presets and then you also get three for your mobile phone as well. If you don't know what my presets are, it's basically a collection of kind of like filters to use on your Instagram photos, your blog photos, video clips. I'll show you an example of a picture before here and then after one of the presets and it's just literally a click and it instantly upgrades your images. So far I think I've sold about 25, so I will leave a link to them down below and you can try the code GOLDEN, hopefully it'll still work. Literally put the word GOLDEN into the checkout and you will save £20. So yeah, that's been my morning and it's only half past 10, very productive morning so far. So I'm going to get cracking and I'll see you later. Okay, it's a little bit late now and Charlie is busy watching the rugby downstairs and I thought I would just nip out to King's Road. It's only four o'clock but um, it's super dark outside. It feels as though it's coming on at nine o'clock in the evening. So I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing to just nip to the shops. I've got on my Reese Lawson coat, uh, the camel colored coat, which I wear all the time. This is my gorgeous new Mulberry Hampstead, which I love and it's so perfect for wearing crossbody. I've also got my Club Monaco scarf on, which is just super cozy. Underneath my Reese leggings and a really cozy top from Zara, which has got little pearls on it. Um, you can see the pearls at the neckline there. And my LK Bennett boots. So I'm going to hop in the car and hopefully going to pick up some sparkly dresses because tomorrow, very last minute, but I'm now shooting in the Mulberry store in their lights pop up and I'm going to shoot something nice and festive. So I'm going to grab a couple of outfits to hopefully shoot there. So let's get shopping. So I'd planned to just sneak here for a very quick shopping trip, but it is so busy. I have a feeling it might be the Christmas lights turning on this evening. The tree is not lit yet, but hopefully I can still get some shopping done. It's Father Christmas! 